There are a number of myths out there that I want to make sure I clarify with you because I hear it from my patients all the time. Hydrogen peroxide at its full strength is extremely toxic to the tissue because not only is it killing the bad cells, but it's also killing the good cells that are trying to heal your wound. I also hear from patients that they've removed the bandage because they were told that they should help air out the wound. Wounds need to stay moist to allow the skin edges to come together. So please make sure that the wound environment stays moist by first cleaning it and then applying a moist gauze or a semi-occlusive dressing such as Tagaderm. It sounds good to apply a vitamin, but unfortunately vitamin E is usually has a petroleum carrier in it, can literally stop the wound in its tracks. What we found actually is that it's not necessarily the vitamin E that's helping with the wound, but the massaging and scrubbing that actually allows it to improve. A lot of times I'm surprised to find my patients have done tanning or gone to a tanning booth to help improve the color of the scar. And the reason for it is that the sun has an inflammatory effect on the skin that can potentially hyperpigment your scar versus the surrounding tissue.